Hi everybody, this is Vicki Woodyard coming to you from my kitchen table in my empty mind. It's good to have an empty mind. It means that your mind is temporarily centered enough so that you can look around the room and actually see things like there's a candlestick and there's a candlestick. And I am here, and I am speaking into a telephone. <laughs> even though, I don't even think they call them telephones anymore. That's probably a word that will uh, disappear from the lexicon. My teacher, Vernon Howard, was brutal. He didn't put up with obnoxious students who wanted to question him. See, the intellect wants to be in charge. The ego wants to control and manipulate the universe. Larry Gatlin said once, if I could have a uni uh, steering wheel big enough, I'd drive the whole universe around. I'd make it do what I wanted it to do. When you sat in front of Vernon Howard, you turned into mush. You feared his power. And I've been told I inherited some of that power. <laughs> It happens, you know, it happens. And what that power does is it uh, constricts your life. It eliminates everything non-essential from your life. And it looks like you're a hermit. And you would be right. But in the heart, there's a great activity. And this is a mystery and it's a paradox. You have to be willing to cut away the extraneous life before you enter a deeper life. Now, does that resonate with you? You know, if it doesn't, you're going to turn me off. When I look at the stats on these talks, most people just listen 15 seconds or so. I don't know why I'm making the videos if you want to know the truth. I don't know the why of anything. Why is the most useless word there is? really is. Um, I'm not pulling any punches tonight. I'm just saying I'm here as an instrument, and if the truth wants to use me, boo, there it is. <laughs> you can get scared, you can leave, you can get bored. I don't care. I'll be here tomorrow. Namaste.